I, I could not see a being with those eyeglasses. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so dark. Yes, they're brand new and they're so dark. I can't <laughs> see anything out of those. You guys are funny. Oh, man. All right, we are super excited, of course, to have Marianne back with us finally. But why was she gone in the first place? Now is the time. We yes. want to know exactly right. what happened. So, uh, let's see. How, when did I leave? Uh, my first day out. November. Uh, November 17th was my last day at work. Yeah. And so it's been about three months. Um, but this all started really years ago. And um, if you follow me on Twitter at all, you know, here, I even pulled it up here for you, that I finally just decided, it's like, how do you tell this whole story? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I created, I took, I created documents on my phone. You would love this, all right? I created documents <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> And then crop them and, and then save them as pictures and yeah. then just uploaded the whole story as pictures, one by one by one by one. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, it's at Good Day Marianne. This is back on December 15th that I finally posted this, so about a month after my, my mm -hmm. surgery. So what had happened was a couple years ago, um, I started just be feeling really stuffed up all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I was getting you know, nosebleeds and my sinuses felt like they were just clogged full of stuff. And I, um, you know, st started to go to doctors to figure out what was going on. And I, you know, was told as the doctors were trying to figure it all out, right? I was told as everything from um, from sinus infection to sinusitis to um, uh, just a head cold to uh, allergies. You know, the famous it's, allergies. Yeah, Everybody right. gets allergies in Sacramento. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but over time, it just wasn't going away. Mm -hmm. And finally, I, I ended up with an ear, nose, and throat doctor at um, at Sutter, and she ran a, an endoscope up my nose, which is, if you're not familiar with it, it looks kind of like a it's just like a black yeah. bendable wire with a little uh, camera at the end of it. And they yeah exactly, and they <laughs> they numb you up. So don't worry about that. <laughs> and she ran it up there, and she found a little mass growing in one of my sinuses, and she did a biopsy on it, uh, had a biopsy done, I should say, and it turned out to be. A um, and I haven't said this f to this point in my tweet, but it turned out to be a um, a cancerous tumor mm -hmm. in my sinus, and she said you're going to need surgery right away, and um, that happened about a month later, and um, I had a terrific team of surgeons at the med center who took care of me. I had a uh, my primary surgeon, my, the, I had a neurosurgeon involved mm -hmm. because of where the tumor so was close. located, yeah, yeah. and um, it was a nine plus hour surgery, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Someone actually uh, asked me, "Well, you were you were out for that, right?" Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I was out. Yeah. The, the last thing I remember, I remember they, you know, they're wheeling you down the hall in on the gurney mm -hmm. on the hospital bed, and uh, and they hit just like they do on the, on the TV shows, right? They they hit the <laughs> doors the and boom, the, the doors go up with the foot of the bed, and they have me scooch over onto the operating table, and I remember laying back and looking up and seeing these two huge spotlights like right over my head, mm -hmm. and I remember thinking, "Man, those are huge." And that is the last yes, thing I remember. Thing. I don't remember them talking to me. I don't remember them, you know, they always say you count backwards, right? Yeah. No, I don't. If they did that, I don't remember any of it. Because <laughs> you were out. I was out. And uh, the next thing I remember, I was waking. And that was about 7.30 in the morning on November 20th. And I woke up about 6 p.m., I'd say, maybe in recovery. And my first memory is of Scott sitting there and somebody handing me a juice box <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to drink something. <laughs> that little juice box. And uh, then I was in the hospital. I was at the med center for almost a week. Yeah. You know, and it was, um, I, I can't say enough about the staff there. The, everybody from the nurses mm -hmm. to the, um, obviously the doctors and the, the people that would come in and uh, clean up my messes <laughs> and uh, everything. It was, uh, it was an outstanding experience if you have to be in the hospital. I was really, I had never been there except mm -hmm. to cover yeah, things right. happening. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, um, it was really, it was really tremendous. So that's what it was. So that diagnosis came two days before my birthday last year. Mm. Wow. This is the view from my hospital room. Oh, not gorgeous. too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> not too shabby. <laughs> right? Look at you. Yes, you. <laughs> yeah, they let you order what you want to eat. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I had no idea. What did What'd you order? That's Thanksgiving dinner they oh, gave us. Oh, well, look at you. I know. Pretty fancy, fancy huh? Yeah, yeah. We had stuffing, potatoes, and pie and everything. Wow. And um, and then when I came home, Scott had the house was all decorated, big bouquet of roses. And I kid you not, swear that when I walked in the house. I'll be home for Christmas was playing on the radio. Oh. I don't know how he timed that, but oh. I lost it. I walked in the house and completely fell apart. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I was uh, stashed up on the 14th floor up there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, with just the, I mean, that's got to be one of the best views in Sacramento. Yeah. 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 It was an expensive one. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's a little pricey. But, but everything's all good, all better. Everything's all good. Yeah. So um, I do not have to have radiation, mm -hmm. thank goodness. I don't have to have any kind of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but I do have to have you know MRIs a couple of times a year, probably for the rest of my life, yeah. to make sure that it doesn't come back. It doesn't come back. Or see if, see if it has, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. There's nothing they can do to prevent that. But um, So I'm just trying to be ha healthy and uh, eat well and exercise and do all the yeah. good things that you should do just to be a healthy person. But um, I'll tell you, they, they have no idea what this caused this tumor, where it came yeah. from, where it came from yeah. um, anything. They said it's so rare that I will never meet another person in my life that had this same Wow. Mm. That's how rare it is. And we'll be able to go more in depth about the entire experience, you know, everything that you went through uh, mm -hmm. later at, at 1030 after the show mm -hmm. on Instagram and Facebook. Um, but I know that one of the biggest things that you want to make sure that people take home from this is that you need to be your own self. Advocate. Absolutely. Self -advocate. Absolutely. Yeah. Because everything that doctors thought it might have been is not what it was. Yeah. Uh, until finally last October when I landed in that ENT's office and she took a peek up there and then did a biopsy mm -hmm. of what she found. But uh, up until that point, if I had thought it was just allergies and just left it, if I had thought it was just a sinus infection and taken antibiotics and it just didn't go away and just kept doing that, who knows? I don't want to think about yeah. what might have happened, yeah. you know, if yeah. she hadn't found it when she did. And the, um, but you have to just keep going back and, and telling them, listen, it's not going away. I, you know, is there something else you can do? Is there someone else I can see? Mm -hmm. Until you finally feel like you have the answer. Yeah. Super Good important to, know. to do. Yeah, Good to know. so important. Good message for all of us. Yes. A yes. reminder for all Definitely. of us. All right. So as we mentioned, you can ask more questions coming up after the show. Also, again, three months is a long time. You missed a lot. Yeah. A lot. I mean, it's almost March. <laughs> yeah, a lot of surprises for you because you know how we like to do it. <laughs> so this is just the beginning. All right. This is just the beginning of what we have in store for us. So make sure you stay tuned to the show all morning long. We're going to squeeze in everything, and I mean everything, <laughs> wow. that Marianne missed while she was gone. Outstanding. Because as you know, yeah. she missed quite a bit, mm -hmm. including holidays. Yes. All oh, right. yeah. Yes. So, so we are going to start the festivities at the 6 o'clock hour with our <laughs> first holiday celebration. Love that. All right. Also, <laughs> kick off your morning.